A police officer who shot at a dog in Arlington but then ended up hitting and killing its owner had other options, according to an expert witness on the stand today. That former officer is on trial this week. Jason Allen has been in court for you. He's in Fort Worth. I know you talked to the victim's father today about what was a pretty long wait for the trial to begin. What did he have to say? Yeah, Doug, it was all the way back in 2019 when Margarita Brooks was shot and killed. And her father told me today uh, he knows how hard it is to even get an officer to get to this point, to be put on trial. But he sees this case as another example, in his opinion, of the way policing needs to change. Is that your dog? Can you get it? all happened in just three seconds. But one of the bullets fired by rookie officer Ravinder Singh in August of 2019 ricocheted off the concrete, hitting and killing Margarita Brooks. The shooting was not done from a safe position and was unreasonable when looking at the totality of the circumstances. An expert witness testified Wednesday Singh could have used a taser, hands, feet, a retreat, that he knew he was shooting toward a person but fired anyway. There are times when you need to go to a gun, but unarmed people running away, the innocent civilians that are being killed, no. What we, have to rethink the entire system and redo this. Troy Brooks testified on the first day of the trial that police should never have been there that day to check on his daughter, that paramedics should have handled the call. While he's grateful prosecutors were willing to go to trial, he's also become frustrated with the qualified immunity officers received, the limited compensation available while he's raising his grandchildren, and he sees parallels with this case and others that have led to community protests. It has to do with the way policing is conducted in our communities. And it has got, that attitude has got to change in the training and the enforcement of it. Singh's defense team has been positioning all of this as really just a, a tragic accident by a, a very young rookie officer who, in this case, was just trying to help Doug. He faces up to two years in jail if there is a conviction in this case. Jason Allen taking us inside the proceedings today. Thank you, sir.